me. Seymour, I'm hungry. Feed me. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Temtem. Oh, always excited to get back into it. Catch some more dudes. Perhaps we'll get to the dojo today. That is uh, at least my plan. I think I've been thinking about, like, you know, uh, a hyper edit type of stuff because I know this is an MMO, so it can take just a little while to uh, actually get things done. But that's all right. We'll take our sweet time with it. There's no rush, right? Hello, stranger. What brings you here? Oh, just passing through. On your way to Aerosola, probably. Carry on, then. My business isn't all that interesting for you. Daedalus. Wow, will you look at that? Stay away from the edge, dude. Oh, yeah, bye. Point Icarus. Bungee jumping prohibited. That's, that's, that's a good rule. I usually don't follow the rules, but that's a good rule. Alright, so let's see what adventures we might find ourselves in today. I could also dig through the grass, I guess, but... Why do so when there's always a trainer battle around? Good day, fellow Tamer. I've never seen you around. First time on the trail. How are you liking the Thalassian glyphs? Well, they're, they're lovely. Aren't they? The best antidote for city life. So let's enjoy them to the fullest, eh? Let's do some fighting. Yeah, let's have more fight. We'll have more fight. I do. I know what I do. Oh, yeah. Dilek. She's got one dude. That doesn't seem like a good strategy. It's probably super level. Yeah, 18. My goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch Bumblebug. Try and keep my little boy safe. Uh, we'll go into Swadloon. And... I mean, Sand Splatter? I don't think it's gonna really matter. But we'll just, we'll just hit him with something. We'll see how it goes. He's double uh, the level of most of my dudes, so... I'm a little skied. Yeah. Half damage. Okay. It's bad. It's quite bad. Yes. Um... I guess I'm just gonna take my beatings. She's gonna decimate basically anything on my team with one hit. So I'll just try to at least keep them alive. Ooh, double attack up, double defense down. Alright, here's this. Double damage and it does like nothing, dude. That is insane! I'm not liking this. Um, I think it lugs fast, so... Yeah, we should probably just, just go for the attacking move. That'll be fine. Oh my god. Very scary. <laughs> what do I do now? Okay. I've got my flappers, right? And, um, he's got his defense down thing. And peck is like a priority move. So we're gonna go for double pecks and hope that he just gets knocked out. It's not gonna knock him out. That, that's doing nothing. Oh, fart. Well, he uses it again. And also, he's, uh, run out of stamina now, so... That's at least the nice part. Hurt self due to overexertion. Maha! There's the KO. That is scary. So, levels definitely matter. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got me. Well done, fellow tamer. She's so happy about it. Good lord. I know why you're happy. I love the Thalassian clips. Sometimes I just need to take a break from Arizona. Alright, me too. Me too, dog. Hey, we got the same starter, yo. It's too bad you can't really interact with people in this game. At least not yet. At some point they'll they'll put it in, but right now it's like you just see people and, and that's supposed to be enough. Bomb plus heals 70 HP. Hi, right, Dean. Ether Plus rest restores 45 stamina. Super! Super duper! Neato! Right on, gang. And I think that's, uh, the city I was meant to get to. But first, I want more fight! Welcome to Baharo Drop, the best place to catch w wind Tim Tim and all that. 
Just watch your step. It's quite a fall. Uh, what's down there? A long way to a quick end. I mean, there is a chance you might survive, I guess, if you're lucky enough to land on water in Upper Indigo Lake. But don't even think about trying. Better be safe, keep your feet on firm land, and have some tentin battles. Way safer. What's Pajaro Drop? This used to be where all the Pajaro had their nests, but then everybody started coming here to catch them. So these days there are more tamers than Pajaro. Now they nest in the rocky perches over at Tequesa. I want, I'd want. I'd like to see you try to climb those. You want to have a fight? That's what I'm talking about. A spectacular backdrop for a spectacular battle. Temtem -tem up. I like that the they have a bit more uh, personality in this game than Pokemon. There's a bit more world building, which is important. <clears throat> so I got my electric bug out here. I don't think it's really gonna KO anything, but I'll still I'll still go for it. Oh, it is a one-hit KO. Hey! Hey, Paisanos! Pajaro use a stare. It's too late. It's too late. You're dead and you don't even know it. Paharok. Paharok. Uh, Bumblebug's about to faint. I'm gonna get him out of here. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Of course, Wadloon. I got a Paharok of my own. You wanna see? You wanna see? He's really cool. I didn't expect him to evolve at such a low level. I hope that isn't an indication of his strength. You know, like Butterfree and shit. <clears throat> Evolves super low. And he's awesome for like the first part of the game. And then you gotta kind of get rid of him later. Because I'm a very uh, sentimental man, you know. I don't like to get rid of my, uh, my original team. Unless I gotta. Unless I gotta. That wind move is not gonna work. Let's just peck. Sure, sure. Crystal dust? Yeah, power it up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh boy. Level 14, and he's scary. Well, Gulai might faint. I, I shouldn't call it Gulai. I should call it Gulay. Mr. Robert Gulay. Alright, we're gonna put that thing to sleep and try and knock out the other. So I can, like, you know, try and plan my strategies and whatnot. Oh, fart. Well, that didn't work as I had hoped. Damage itself due to overexertion. Ha! Ah, yes. He wasn't affected, but that's okay. Because he's going to damage himself due to overexertion again. So let's send out Bumblebug. See if we can get some, uh... Some nice damage going. A little bit of damage, damage with the DC Beam. DC Beam! Because we couldn't get the copyright for Marvel Beam. That's not even a funny joke. <laughs> Alright. Good job. Wow, you beat me. What a paharak. Yeah, call a meat log, okay? Master eat log. Good fight, good fight. My attempt to need a rest. I'm letting him graze on the grass while I enjoy the views. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have gone here. What now, can an old lady just enjoy some quiet time on her own? Well, hello, ma'am. I'm Dayton Does. Quite pleased to meet you, Miss Dayton Does. And what a lovely bonnet you're wearing, my dear. Uh, actually, I'm not a woman. That's my hair. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sincerest apologies. My eyesight's not what it used to be. I can barely tell a Pajaro from a Pajarak these days, but I still put a, a decent fight, I do. Uh, alright, let's fight. How about your Tim Tim? <laughs> Yay, Beverly! Sure, sure, Granny. Come along, then. He got some, uh... Some Temtem that I already have. Oh, and he's level 14. This is not gonna be good. Oh, crap. Well, I guess we can only do what we can do, right? <sighs> Alright, go for the, the beam there. 
and um, and Windblade. Hopefully we can get like quick knockout before I end up getting fainted. Heavy blow! Heavy blow! Oh my goodness! All I got left are my peckers. <laughs> um, feather Gatling. That's good, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. And I don't know. I guess we use hypnosis on the the piggy. Yeah, why not? Oh my God! Stop! Stop! Please! It hurts! Don't you see? Piggy sleep. Good. Alright, now we'll finish off the other fella with a bit of wind blade and eat log needs a rest. Oh my god. So bad, dude. <clears throat> okay, now Ebon needs a rest, and we're gonna try a peck and see if that takes it. Oh, thank God. It's coming down to the wire. Oh boy. Okay, so we basically need to knock it out this turn. I could, I could use my healing items, but they're so rare. Oh, my healing items are so are so expensive that I dare not. All right, go for Peck. Peck and Peck. <clears throat> God, that's not doing much at all. Oh, not like this. I didn't want it to be like this. Unfortunately, uh, we're about at the end of the line here. Should I use my healing item? <clears throat> Maybe so. Oh, man. We'll just take it on the chin. That's fine. Oh, he got knocked out. Thank fucking good lord god almighty in heaven. Oh dear, that was quite the absolute defeat for me, was it not? I concede, young Tamer. Oh, yes, concession, indeed. Oh dear, that was enough excitement for the day. Be still, my beating heart. Oh god, Aerosola, thank, thank, thank the Lord. Thanks for helping us keep it clean. Dojo East, Temporian, Gifted Bridges North, Airship Terminal, Aerosola Palace Hotel West. So, I'm gonna visit the Temporium for surezies. Hi, everybody. I gotta do a thing. I almost died out there. For the record. And I got a level 9 and a level 10 little boy that need to go in the front. Level 9, level 10. Bumblebug's caught up already. So, that's sweet. Oh, you just, you're just standing there emoting? Excuse me, what town is this? Air Sola, dude. Oh, that's weird. These Temporiums are so similar to each other, I can never tell. That's uh, a good way to get people to learn what the towns are. Just just have somebody ask them constantly. What town is this? What, where are we? Scent, it's expensive. Awakener, revive. So pricey, dude. I'm gonna buy uh, a few bombs. Yeah, I just need a few. Antidotes, uh, revives. Should I buy one? I guess so. It's better than nothing. It's better than not having it, right? And then they said there was like a gift shop or something up here? Oh, everybody has such cool Temtem. I want some dams. Hey there. We booked this apartment and set in a bathroom, so... Wait, darling, did you actually check? I did. Well, I mean, it's only logical, right? Oh dear. 
Y'all ain't got a pot to piss in. Hey, hey, hey. Why would they not have a bathroom? Maybe it's a cool toilet that, like, you push a button and it flips out of the floor or something like that. Davi Nito, Frito Bandito, man. Hey, little boy. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you. Always clean your hands after playing with Ten Ten. Sound advice. They are dirtier than they look. But they are they are cute. But also, you gotta be careful. Why is everybody standing around here? Leave that woman alone. Hey, do you like comic books? Yeah, dude. And you know what I'm talking about. The last issue of Endarian Quest is coming out this week. No way, it's this week? Yeah, did you read the last issue? The last story was a total cliffhanger, and I can't wait to see how she escapes from the King of Arbery and clears her name for the murder of Cecilu. Uh, where do I get it? Dude, that's the problem. It's gonna be published in Sepanku first. It's going to be months until we get it here at Denise. Maybe I can get one for you. Oh, would you do that? Uh, I just want a reward. And thou shalt have it, mercenary tamer, as the rogue of the seas would have said. You just made my day. Uh, I'll go to Sampanku then. That's a long way, and it might be for nothing. I have a better plan. I know a bookshop where you might find it. Look for two saint books in a huru. Um, is a Sampanku a safer bet? I know it sounds counterintuitive, but everyone in the Pajaro is going to Sampanku to get their comics. They're often sold out. So saint books is more likely to have some book left. Alright then. Go forth, mighty Enderifan. fan. Don't let Laura send you on some fool's errand. Don't tell me what to do, bruh. How about that? Suck on that. Pick up some quests. Feels good, man. First time in Aerosola? Yep. I envy you that, then. I wish I could see Aerosola through your eyes for the first time. So many lovely details that we take for granted that we can't enjoy anymore. Is that so? Welcome, come in. We're about to have lunch. Care to join us? Sure, why not? Feed me. Feed me! Seymour! I'm hungry! Feed me! Have you tried Ekron's cooking? He's improving. <laughs> oh, never mind. I don't want to eat your food if you're not, like, good at food. Visit faraway places. Dear sir, have you ever seen the pan sun rising over the Kalima Range in Kisiwa? Madam, would you like to relax in the hot springs of Osinshima? Young one, are you looking for adventure on the Omnisian Flywalk? I'll stick to walking, thanks. Why walk when you can soar through the air and fly like the wind? Adventure is calling! You're a good salesman, I'll give me that. <laughs> but I'm broke. I spent all my pan suns on a... on a revive. Just one revive. Hey, pantsless man! Excuse me, are you looking for the ticket office? This isn't it. Just go to the terminal to the west. Uh, okay. How do I get on, on an airship? You start by getting out of my house. Then <laughs> you head to the terminal and speak to somebody there. Or just look for the tout who's always shouting right outside my window. Sweet, sweet. I saw that guy. He was touting indeed. I'm like, trying to look for hidden items and shit. There's nothing over there. It's a lie. It's all a lie. Alright, so I guess I should... Oh my god, look at that thing! It's so cute! I love it! Alright, I guess I should go find the dojo fella. I'm sorry, the tour hasn't started yet. Please wait at the meeting point and the guide will meet you there soon. Uh, I'm the guide. Dayton does. You? Wasn't it supposed to be... Never mind, it's cool. You'll do. I'll do my best. Sure, sure, listen up now. Oh, send Kalazu. How d so how well do you know Denise? Think you can explain the main sites and answer their questions? Yeah, sure. Yes, thank you. The group's over there. Just go and give them a tour. I don't know, improvise. Pretty please? Hello, friends! My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator slash tour guide. I'm, I'm going to take you around to, to see the sites. The guy's finally here, listen up! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Aerosola, uh... Biggest city in Denise, or capital of Denise? I think it's the capital, for sure. It was described for the first time by the ancient poet, um... F 
Phaedra of Zadar. Excuse me, that's not what it says on my guidebook. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> uh, fart. I have it wrong again. Do we have to do this? Do we have to do this? I guess so, because it's a quest. Pasifae of Turquesa. She wrote about this unique location, halfway between water and wind. Fascinating. What a city. That majestic massive of red rock you can see towards the south on the way to Brickle to Mars called the uh, Thalassian Cliffs. They descend all the way to the shore of the Ciaro River. Excuse me, just one question. What's on the other side of the river? Uh, Turquesa? A quaint little town that boasts the ancient riverine fellowship, the last of the sailor brotherhoods of old. One last question. What do you recommend we visit? I'm really into history. Um, I guess the Windward Fort? Oh, castles! I love castles! We'll see if someone... if it has something on the one in Lac Adouar. Okay, enjoy the rest of your stay. I'm so ready to get back to the hotel. I'm beat. Sweet. I did it! Thanks so much! Now just to herd them into the hotel and be done for the day. You've earned your rank insignia as a true and honorable tour guide. Umbrella. Damage taken from water techniques is reduced by 20%. Wear it proudly, Dayton does. Interesting. So, how do I gear them up? Um, from, uh, the, the tab details. Okay, let's, let's see about that. Tab and squad, and then, uh, where? Oh, tab, again, to equip gear. Okay. I don't have anybody that's weak to water at the moment. I'm gonna give it to Gulai, though. He'll appreciate some water resist, won't he? That's good boy. Alright. More, uh, breaking into houses. We've already been in this house. Where's the doo Show me the doo bro. The guys are the last reminder of how Hatless Hill would have looked before Aerosol was built on its flat top. Natural springs like this one originate all around the Thalassian Cliffs, especially near the sources of the Upper Indigo. The poet pacifier Tur Turquesa. Oh, here's the answer. Yep, yep. More pragmatic. Pragmatically, they provide drinking water to most of the West Coast. Delicious! Hey! What's up with you, bruh? You just hanging out? Sorry, Tamer, but the dojo's closed. You can't come in. I'm here to see Sophia. She's not in. That's why we're closed until she comes back. It's not unusual for her to take some time off, but not that long. Um, when will she be back? I have no idea, friend. She should be back already. I'd go look for her myself, but then who'd stay here and take care of the dojo? I'll find her. Would you do that? Thank you. I'd feel much better if someone took care of this. Where can I find her? Sophie's supposed to be surfing near Windward Fort. If you have a surfboard, it's easy to find. Just get in the water and... I don't have a board. Well, it's the scenic route for you then. Leave Arisola and go north. You'll have to go through gifted bridges. It's a long way, but there's no getting lost. Windward Fort is at the end of it. Well... On the road to Viridian City. Or something like that. Oh boy. It seems there's also a clothing store, so I want to stop by and check that out as well. And see if we might get some, uh, some, something fun. Something fun? A nice hat? Yes. Hello there. Welcome to Rogan Cole, the best clothes shop this side of the Sierra River. How can I help you? What do you sell? I'll take a look around and see for yourself. This is not a temporium, dear. Just grab whatever tickets you fancy. Well, uh, and pay, of course. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Peruse to your heart's content. Oh, look at, look at hat thing. Oh, it's pricey. I can't afford any clothes. Oh, that's so sad. Open shirt. Wow. Dojo Raider shorts. Whoa. Wetsuit. I'm, I'm so poor. Okay. I forgot this was an MMO. They'll have MMO prices. They want you to grind for it real good. New to Aerosola? By the looks of ya. Come see the big city? Sit with me for a minute. I'm between shifts. Um, okay. What do you do? 
I work at the docks at the terminal, loading and unloading airships. Each kiwi coming in from the Omnesia and each barrel of olives going out of Denise passes through my hands at some point. We have to be fast, you know. Aerosol only has two docks, so every time an airship docks, we have to move the cargo in and out as quickly as we can, lest the next one get delayed. It's a tough job, but necessary. And honest. Pay's okay, and you get to see all sorts of funny looking people, such as yourself. Alright, whatever, fuck off. This is everybody just a dick to me, you know? I'm a nice guy. Hi there, friend. Are you headed for Gifted Bridges? Yeah. Before you do, do you have a map of Gifted Bridges? No, I have a 10, 10 essence vial. What? Relax, man. I was just asking whether you had a map. No problem if you don't. I thought you were another route cop. Gee, people are so on edge these days. Like, I'm here to give you, I don't know, quests or something. Like, chill, dude. Okay. Is it? I keep the. I swear those show keepers are no fun. So many rules and regulations. What's difficult about gifted bridges? You won't get lost, that much is for sure, but there are plenty of wild Temtem lurking in the grass, and sometimes the non Temtem farming can be pests, if you catch my drift. It's the usual route for tamers going to Windward Fort. Sometimes they get overexcited, they jump at the slightest chance to have a Temtem battle, so you've been warned. Alright, Dan. Enjoy the outdoors! In solidarity and friendship from the free people of the Mir Isles to the free people of Denise. Hooray! Okay, are we ready for a battle? I think we have time for a battle or two. Huh. Yeah, get it. Here comes a new tamer, fresh from the dojo. But fair, we're fresh from the dojo too. Shh, silence. We challenge you, stranger. Oh man. I like how there's always uh, a duality between the trainers. It doesn't seem like they should be friends, but they are! And I don't have any friends. Oh. Is Sand Splatter gonna do anything this time? It seems to be like the worst move ever. It's just like not very effective on everything. Sand Splatter! See, see, I don't, I don't understand. Earth is the worst attacking move ever. I'm not exaggerating. It's seriously the worst. All right. Here comes a, uh, a bit of a KO. Shazam! Yeah, FOMO. Mo FOMO. <laughs> Uh, they've got four Temtem, so I want to soak up that EXP. This Swally, a hey, Swally. Let's go ahead and uh, try and take that thing down ASAP. ASAP. Uses Shy Shield. Good. I thought it was gonna use the double effective move on my Swally. Swally Loon. Jeez. Knock it out the box. Go ahead. Oh, it had shared pain. Oh, fart. Okay. Use some some held anger. That's what we're gonna do now. Hopefully we don't get KO'd. And now we got a two-on-one fight. Because I knocked this dude out. Held anger! Whoa, dude, that was <laughs> over the top type of move. Okay, then. Genki. Genki this car. Alright, well, I guess I, I guess just go in. I, I don't know what to say. And then I'm out of stamina after this, uh, this move. Windblade. That's not too bad. Alright. So, Squirrel can scratch and Swaddling can rest. KO. Sweet. Sweet, brah. Good job, brah. I really like how Squirrel heals up after something gets knocked out. That's super convenient. Told you. <laughs> yeah, he told you. That's true. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't just challenge anyone. Nonsense. Huh? Oh! Oh! 
should probably use some balm on my little swad loon. Just to keep him looking good. Oh, he's got like unicorns and stuff. I want to look for Temtem in the grass too. <clears throat> Everybody's looking, so there must be something good here. <clears throat> well, that's that's just a Paharo. I, I've seen that a million times. Should we KO it? It's gonna take more than one turn to KO it. Stuff is buff in this game, man. It's like you're only level eight. I should be able to to wipe the floor with you. But you're gonna hang around for longer than you should. That's just how it goes. Okay. Finish him. Excellent. Supreme victory. A little more hunting. I don't really have time to get into another battle. According to my my timer here. So uh, we'll just try and find at least an interesting Temtem. Well, those aren't interesting. It's just the evolved form of what I got already. Maybe I was tricked. Come on. Just just one new thing that I haven't seen before. I don't even know how many Temtem there are. Are there 150 or more to see? To be a Temtem trainer, it's my destiny. Run, run, run. Nope. Well, um, try it again. I got time to be out here, alright? Maybe... Maybe I should go try some, some other grass. Show me some new grass. Yeah, this grass, that's the one. Don't hit those trainers yet. That'll be the first thing we do in the next episode. Bam! Just run my ass into some trainers. All that's in here is Paharos. Oh my god. Go away, Pidgey monster. Failed to run away. Damn it. How could you do this to me? <clears throat> my voice is cracking. I've been a little sick. Hopefully that's going to go away. But it might get worse. You never do know. <laughs> that's that's part of the exciting adventure. All right, it's just Paharos in here. So I'm gonna call the episode. I apologize that uh, there wasn't something more interesting. But that's just how it be sometimes. You gotta get brave, crawl around in the grass. So we'll fight those those dudes over there in the next episode to the east, and then uh, we'll move on through gifted bridges. And it seems like we've got quite a way to go, but we should be able to cover it, uh, depending on how many trainer battles and stuff there are. Yeet yeet! So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, friends. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it, because that is always appreciated. And I also hope you'll check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. That's always a nice, nice thing. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon currently. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Once again, this has been Temtem Tem Friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I shall see you then. So until then, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends. <laughs>